respiratory nerve does. Here it leaves the omotransverse muscle, the coverage of the omotransverse muscle, and then it starts to steep up, steep up, because this is the innervation for trapeze muscle. Mm. So all the other muscles, they are sort of getting innervation from the place where they are. This bugger has innervation from the head. Mm. So sometimes when I see atrophy of the uh, trapeze muscle, it doesn't need to be exactly only saddle issue. It can be trouble in this area. Mm -hmm. You know, in New Zealand, we have very heavy winter blankets. Mm -hmm. And if you leave them, you know, for a long time, and they are cutting in the collar groove, that nerve can be pretty damaged, okay? So you can have the atrophy of trapezius muscles from damaging the accessory nerve, the 11th cranial nerve in front. It doesn't need to be always the back. Do you have harness that fits there, Eli? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so the that, colors. Yeah, 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 yeah. The colors. So this this can be the problem. You know, if it's digging very much right. deep inside, this nerve can be damaged, and then the horses will lose these two muscles. Mm -hmm. You start to see really just you know sort of hollows, mm -hmm. because that muscle has not innervation. Right. So it cannot be hmm. big. So that is, this is why I said I was peeling the muscle from here and I will continue trying to reflect it because they wanted to see where the muscle goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the accessory. So I will start to, uh, or I will continue here.